So now that there are a few inches of snow perpetually on the ground, we're not really looking for the mycorrhizal fungi coming up out of the forest floor. We spent all summer, spring, and even fall looking for those fungi. And those are the ones that form symbiotic relationships with various plant and tree species. This time of year, we're training our eyes to look up a little bit. Now we're looking at some of the branches, some of the sticks, the logs, the trees, the stumps. We're looking for some of those mushrooms that grow on wood, the ones that are attacking and breaking down woody tissue. Those would be the saprophytic and the parasitic mushrooms. This is a saprophytic mushroom right here. And this one, believe it or not, is edible. This is an orange jelly fungus. If you're looking around the woods, you're looking around the forest, and you find orange jelly on sticks, there's a chance that it could be edible. You know, there's a lot of jelly fungi that are edible, so it's kind of a good grouping of mushrooms to get into, especially if you're new to this. This one is specifically Dacromyces palmatis. Some people call it orange witch's butter. There's another orange witch's butter known as Tremella mesenterica. However, that one typically grows on deciduous wood. This is growing on conifer wood right here, and Dacromyces palmatis grows on conifer wood. So I'm in mixed woodlands right here. I'm actually at McConnell's Mill State Park in Western Pennsylvania. Maybe you can hear the water right behind me. If you've ever been here, if you've ever hiked in these trails, you know that there's a lot of conifers, there's also a lot of deciduous trees, specifically eastern hemlock trees, and also birch trees as well. So it's true that there are a lot of birch trees around me, also a lot of eastern hemlock trees. So which one is this right here? Well, this is a fallen branch from an eastern hemlock tree just by looking at its bark. So this is most likely Dacromyces palmatis. Another distinguishing feature between those two species, Tremella mesenterica and this one right here, is that this one has a white point of attachment. So if I would take a knife and I would dig this out, you would see that the attachment to the wood is typically whitish. You're not really going to see that with Tremella mesenterica. Regardless, both are edible. Now, you're not going to find a whole lot, like pounds and pounds and pounds, of this one right here, but you will find some. You know, if you're looking around the woods this time of year, there's a lot of white on the ground, there's a lot of green and brown. It's very easy to spot orange jelly on sticks. And that's what it literally looks like, orange jelly on sticks. And bring some of that home, you can cook it up, and it'll add a nice texture and some of this forest essence to your next meal. So get out there, look for mushrooms. You know, today's the first day of winter, which means the search for winter fungi has only begun.